Good evening everybody, it's Charlie and welcome back to another video on the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel. It is time for your match review of Leeds United nil, Brentford nil. Um, a stalemate at Ellen Road as Leeds and Brentford do share a point each. For me it's a massive missed opportunity. Um, two points dropped I'm seeing this as. Um, I'm not, and believe it or not, I'm not going to be negative in this upload. I actually felt... Leeds United were the much better team, um, but we will get into it in just a second. But as always, please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. So yeah, as I was saying there, I, I felt Leeds United were the much better side today. Um, it's probably the worst I've seen Brentford all season. I'm not saying, you know, look... Um, I, I felt a lot of it was down to how well we managed to dominate them in midfield, up top and at the back, um, which I think is a huge positive to take out of this game today is that we looked defensively sound and solid for a change. Um, Cooper didn't make the squad. Um, there was no explanation as to why. Probably picked up a knock, I would have thought. So Verba came in and played centre back with Cock, and I thought it even made Cock have a good game as well. I thought they were both really good. Max Verba looks unbelievable in defence. Even his stature and how he's built, he just looks like a true leader and a true defender at the back. I thought Pascal had a good game at left back as well, to be fair. And Ayling actually played well as well. Um, he was providing the width on that right hand side. Um, it was it was. You know, I thought we were getting into some really decent areas. I think obviously where we lacked today was going forward. I don't think we were as clinical as what I'd have hoped for. Um, Brentford today, for some reason, they just they just kept playing hoofball. It was like let's just lump it up to Tony and hope for the best. They were time wasting in the first half. Um, they were play acting. They were diving. They were trying to cheat the way through the game which was very frustrating but to be fair to Leeds we didn't let that phase us um, we kept going we were all over them especially in the second half I thought the first half was fairly even um, the first half was quite underwhelming but I thought the second half we really kicked it up a notch and um, yeah look I'm, it for me it is a step in the right direction you know yes we got beat against Aston Villa, but the performance was there. We dominated Cardiff in midweek, obviously, and we beat them in the cup. And then today, I felt, was another good, solid performance, and we managed to get something from it, at least. But I do feel it was a real missed opportunity today, and I am seeing it as two points dropped. And that is due to the fact that Brentford were poor, Today, I've said it already, but they were they were they weren't great. The Brentford away end was silent because they literally had nothing to cheer about. Fort Leeds controlled possession. Fort in midfield we were solid. At the back, we didn't really. I don't really remember Brentford threatening us that much. Maybe the last five ten minutes to kind of huffed and puffed a little bit, but I still thought Leeds handled them really well. Um, and Buemo didn't really have an effect on the game in midfield. They were poor and. I just felt Leeds wanted it more. Um, we were pushing the tempo again, especially in the second half. The only thing that I'll kind of maybe question Marsh a little bit on today is his substitution. Um, I felt Aronson coming off was the right sub. Um, and um, we brought... Was it Patrick Bamford we brought on for Aronson? No, no, sorry. Who, who came off? Who came on for Aronson? Sinistera, sorry. Sinistera came on for Aronson, which I felt was the right sub at the time. I thought Aronson was a little bit lightweight again today. Um, looked promising in parts, but yeah, he's just always looking for a foul. and I, I do feel his confidence is low at the minute. I really do. Um, but, you know... Maybe he does need a break. Um, I've been saying it for a few weeks, but I do think that's needed. I think he needs a time out of the spotlight um, and just needs to work on stuff in training. Or, look, 
maybe he keeps playing him because he wants to play him into form but obviously Christensen went through a poor stage we dropped him and brought Aylin in so I don't see why he hasn't done that with Aronson yet obviously Bamford came on for Rodrigo um, I thought that Bamford looked good um, linking up play well looks a bit more fresh when he comes on um, and it was good to see him get extra minutes the one sub that baffled me though was bringing Mark Rocker off for Greenwood within the last sort of five minutes we've just brought a player in from Hoffenheim for £35 million record signing a striker that could have come on and maybe had an impact didn't get any minutes today which baffled me um, I would have loved to have seen him I think he'll definitely get minutes in the FA Cup next week whether it be as a sub or from the start um, but that's the kind of the only thing that I will question Marsh on today is that sub at the end I, I felt it was there for Rutter to come on and make an impact um, but other than that look I am fairly positive about today but again it is still two wins from 18 it's four wins all season out of 19 games that's still not good enough now I did say that if he lost this game then he then for me he would go we haven't lost and the performance was really good so obviously he saved his job for the time being but I just wonder how long this board are willing to give Jesse Marsh you know because yeah we played really well today but it still wasn't a win I think that Forest game could even be key that Forest away game in two weeks you know because if we did get beat there that would be very damning I think Forest seem to have picked up a bit of form of late but that is a game that we should be winning 100% if we play like we played today against Nottingham Forest then we will win that game in my opinion um, I don't think Forrest would be able to cope with us if we played like that um, but look I, I am I'm feeling fairly positive I am really top performers out there today obviously Nyonto was good again Rodrigo Max Verber at the back for me was man of the match I thought it was solid um, so there are encouraging signs there but you know that clinical edge going forward it it just wasn't there for us today but I'm glad we got something from the game of course um, it's a point gained we sit 15th at the minute um, but like I said I, I just feel like it was a missed opportunity and it is two points dropped because Brentford were crap today in my opinion they, they were there for the taking 100% 35 million quid record signing didn't get any minutes which is baffling but all of that aside top performance from Leeds I felt today um, and we move on to either Accrington or Borenwood in the FA Cup next week so we have got a little bit of, of a break from Premier League action next home game is Man United which I can't wait for the atmosphere will be unreal um, but there's some a very big few weeks ahead um, and I just hope that these performances are going to turn into wins and that Jesse Marsh can turn this around because I do want him to as much as people may not think I do I really do I want him to turn it around and I'm glad we didn't get beat today because I, I think the ground would have been very toxic but it was a positive feel in Ellen Road obviously we weren't happy that we didn't get it over the line today but the signs are there that it is starting to turn a bit in a positive um, way, dare I say. I think Max Verber made that back line look so much more solid. And even if Cooper's fit for Forrest, you know, obviously Cock will be suspended for Forrest now as he picked up a yellow card today. Be interesting to see how Marsh works with that. I, I still think Verber needs to keep his place. We look so much better with him in there and we've not actually conceded a goal whilst Verber has been on the pitch since he's been here, which which does tell you something in my opinion. But we'll leave it there for um, this one, guys. I will be back with a final say upload um, tomorrow night where obviously I'll have a little bit more of um, a think about things and the ongoing situation at Leeds at the minute. 
um, and I will be back with my final thoughts on today's game tomorrow night. But if you've enjoyed this one, please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new and share all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.